Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to clone an array or how to concatenate two arrays. Okay, so let's start the tutorial. So it's basically on the new JavaScript that is ECMA. So let's begin the tutorial. So let's start with the two arrays. So let me add two array. Let array array me and put anyone here I'm going to put two arrays item one comma uh, item two okay this is one array next we have our array two array two array animation array two there and make it array one for naming array one. Right. Let's copy and rename it the variables. Array this item three. This gonna be four. Okay. Uh, I have facing this issue in my node project. Suppose we have a this we have array object and we want to push some full fledged another object into the particular arrays so what we have to do is we have to do it via new that is called spread operator spread operator what is spread operator does it will clone the first object so let's start with the var array 3 and make this one in this we are going to push or using the spread operator three dots cloning array one comma with this three operator with array two okay so let's console dot log this array three So we have to check whether all the items of this are pushed into that one or creating a new array or not. Save it. Let's move to this one. We load this. F12. Array 3. Item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4. So it will give you the full-fledged array. So in case we, uh, I, uh, my uh, front-end developer wants all that array should be in one with same object name. So I have used the spread operator like this and manage it in the response. So first, whatever array we have, we can achieve this using the spread operator, okay? We have other ways in the uh, in the backend. You can use the clone method. You can use the, there is a new NPM uh, module that is available that is called Shimmer. So uh, no, uh, that is for the state management, like deep cloning that is possible with the help of Shimmer. But but you, if you can use, this is a new way of uh, like, uh, getting or merging the arrays or concatenating the arrays with the help of the spread operator, right? Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. I hope you understand what we have done in this tutorial. Please do like, share and comment.